with the name of Almighty One God, who is most merciful and beneficent. My dear <coughs> friends, my name is Dr. Abu Abdullah. We are talking about the <coughs> non-Muslim geniuses of the world who are praising of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. <coughs> this is Dr. William Draper. He is an American scientist, philosopher, physician, historian from 1811 to 1882. Let's see what he says about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. <coughs> Four years after the death of Justinian A.D. 569, Prophet was, Muhammad was born in Mecca in Arabia. The man who all of men has exercised throughout influence upon the human race. To be the religion, heard of many empires, head of many empires to provide, to guide the daily life of one third human race. Many perhaps justify the title of a messenger of God. <clears throat> this was William Draper, his views. Now, the German Chancellor Adolf Hitler, what he says, <clears throat> there is only one religion whom I respect and that is Islam. And there is only one prophet, my God, look at him. And there is only one prophet, messenger, Muhammad Sallallahu whose greatness I impressed, and that is Muhammad. Achha, the peoples of West, they are so scared, afraid and offended by this name, Adolf Hitler. I don't know why. When I visited museum, Madame Tussid Museum in England, London, 1980. And then I see that there was a, in the, at the entrance of museum, there was a horror house and on front door of that horror house, there was a statue of Adolf Hitler. Whenever I post on Facebook, Adolf Hitler's saying, they restrict me for one month. So I would like to repeat his uh, Adolf Hitler's view. There is only one religion whom I respect and that is Islam. And there is only one prophet, messenger, whose greatness I impressed and that is Muhammad Sallallahu Napoleon Bonaparte. You know everybody that he was a great conqueror of France. He says the best religion is of Muhammad bin Abdullah's religion. Then is Sir Richard Bell. He says, Europe is at the footstep of seven in stability. It has its own Europe is at footstep of severe instability. It has in its slaved extreme mental stress, spiritual diseases, no more mutual respect, sexual perversion, adultery and Fornification, wonderful. No more mutual respect and trust. Europe has only one way of solution. The only way to come out of it is, and that way is, Muhammad's religion, no other options. Now, I will commit the Michael Hart's views, comment the Michael Hart's views. Michael Hart was a Christian and he wrote a book, 100 top most 
dignitaries, celebrities, personalities of the mankind. He put Muhammad وسلم, on the top and he compared Jesus, which usually people think that Jesus is the inventor or creator of Christianity. It's not wrong. It's wrong. Totally wrong. Christian the belief is totally wrong. The starter, the creator of Christianity was Saint Paul. He was none of the concern with Jesus. He was not apostle. So anyway, Michael Hart compares Jesus with Muhammad Sallallahu He put Jesus, I think, in the third position, third rank. So what he says, Michael Hart, he compares like that. He says that comparison of Jesus with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He says Muhammad was a father as human being. Muhammad was son. Muhammad was husband. Muhammad was. He tries to say that as a human being, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam played the role of a family person. Whereas Jesus has no family. He did not play any role. He was not a father. He was not a, I mean, son, not just like, he was son of Maryam, but he was not like that. He didn't marry. He didn't have children. So in these respects, Muhammad supersedes Jesus. Then he said, Muhammad was a warrior. Muhammad was a ruler. Muhammad was a reformer. Muhammad was a successful preacher, orator, and he left behind millions. Whereas Jesus was deceived by his own apostles, Havari. So he has a long, long discussion and comments on Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But here I am trying to tell you, he put the Moses on perhaps down rank, down rank. The rank of Moses was down the Jesus. So he was trying to tell the world by writing this book and putting Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on top that his status was top on the all humans of the world. So in other words, he was a perfect man, perfect prophet. And the justice system which Nabi Akra Sallallahu Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave the justice system, it is studied in the big universities of the America and Europe. About he was he, Michael Hart says in the statements, he is a scientist. He prays like that. Of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So my friends, I in these lectures that non-Muslim geniuses, what they say about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or what are their views on this prophet, I have tried to catch a glimpse of that. There are long lists, but I know that I have selected few geniuses of the West. Now the question arises, just if they were so much impressed on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his religion, why they didn't convert to Islam? Let me tell you, most of them converted, not these which I am talking about. Lot of scientists converted to Islam after reading Quran and biography of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Lot of people. But it depends upon Allah who gives guidance. He says in Quran that only I gives guidance. Nobody can give guidance to any person. So please keep on watching me, Jana, Dr. Abu Abdullah.